the downturn in housing sales and the resulting financial strain on developers have raised concerns about bordered economic uh, repercussions, including reduced consumer confidence and decreased spending. Another thing you're going to notice in the uh, China area, you're also going to see in places like Hong Kong, where they actually have a issue with forgive the weather y'all it's going down we're dealing with a downturn in hong kong with development due to the government approvals for certain types of construction hong kong they build down america builds high rises hong kong builds basements so they have to get governmental improvements to dig deep holes in the ground to build infrastructure where we are building as high up to the ceiling as we can possibly get This change in governmental construction authorizations gives you two issues. One, because their typhoons and tsunamis leads to floods and everything below ground level is below sea level. You're looking at large quantity of flooding in certain areas. The other issue is the forbidden from being able to construct in certain areas that are deemed flood zones or potential flood zones. The other issue you're going to have is developmental costs that are going to be offset by the reduction in construction versus sales due to the reduction of real estate developments in the United States, which is also going to make a heavy impact on investors in the Chinese market, because one of the things that they have to deal with is the multiple years that it takes to get approval to do development before they can start construction in the situations where you have investors that are investing in a, uh, a huge uh, um, real estate deal. If your profits were expected to be received in a short period of time, but you have construction delays due to the lack of approval for governmental permits, you're looking at a stronger delay in proceeds. The holding costs are going to be dealt with by the developer and the profits that are going to be administered is going to come after the uh, development of the project, as well as the disbursement of any capital owed. Now, if there, if the project turns into a negative project, a negative value project, then the investors don't really have a profit to speak of. If any event, because you still have to have operation costs, the operation costs come first and then any profits over the operation costs gets paid to the investors. If you don't have enough money going around because of the time delays and cost of development, you don't have enough money going around to pay back all of your investors. If the realization that uh, investors may not receive a profit from certain types of products or projects. You might see investors pull out early, which will then cause projects to not get finished. So you have uh, developers that are filing bankruptcy, closing down and uh, redirecting their attention out of the real estate business. You have development trends that change in the Chinese market where uh, they used to have infrastructure for internet cafes and other such things. And now they're not necessarily paying attention to some of that stuff in some locations where this, this stuff still does exist. It just uh, may not be a developer's choice. So we have to pay attention to the ups and downs, the ins and outs of how the market uh, is impacted internally.